Nice being outside again, but geez, could we have chosen a warmer day? We could have. Correct. Perfect. <laughs>
Yeah, oh, I'm definitely getting better. This is this is rather delightful. Yeah. So for our final beer, we have the dark streets of London. Do you know anything about those dark streets of London? Um, it's all of the streets after the sun goes. Is in. that where the meat pies are made? Oh my. I see what you did there. Is that a little Sweeney Todd reference. That's right. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, the Dark Streets of London is from Clifford Brewing Company, which is in Hamilton, Ontario. Clifford. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is 5.2%. Nice. And it's got some wonderful graphics on the can. Very nice. I'm not going to bother saying that it's pretty much the same color as the last this one because this is color. not. This is, this has a lot of residue floating in the it. funny thing is this one is a lot clearer indeed the other two have been fairly cloudy yes so i'm wondering i think this one we we can see the sediment because it is clearer Co correct that's how it works is that how it works so you think that there was sediment in the others it just became cloudy so we didn't see individual particulate matter that's my band name individual particulate matter ipm ipm yeah it's not an IPA. But it's international plowing match? I've had three of those. Oh. College was fun. Mm. Oh, fresh and bright and clean. Malty. I, I'm getting hops on this one. Yeah. I think that's the brightness that I'm picking up on. Yeah. Yeah. Nice bitter on the end. Quite a bit of bitter. Still brighter flavored than the others. The yep. hops are certainly there. Um, the malt's there. I think the other one had a bit of a, a sweeter finish, and this one has a little yes. bit of a drier finish, but Absolutely. this is a very pleasant flavor. That sediment, though, is so remarkable. The hops on this one are a lot more. Yes. A lot more present. Yep. Mm. 35 IBU, so it's a little less than the first one, but still a very tasty malty beer. But I think it comes through more because this one is drier, like you said. It's not as sweet. Mm -hmm. So I think all of those flavors come through more. Thanks for watching the Rural Jury Brewery Tour. Well said. Thank you. I'm Jay. I'm Seth. Check us out next time when we try some more beers. Make sure you like and subscribe below. Make sure you ring that bell that's right over the there bell because is that right bell, here. no, wrong bell. But if you ring time. that bell, it sends you a notification when a new episode comes up. And there's new episodes all the time. Absolutely. Check out the uh, website at ruralgerbrewerytour.com. Always new stuff there. Beer blog is there. Okay. All of our past episodes. Buy us a beer. Buy us a beer. All right. See you next time. Bye bye. Cheers. Isn't it nice the sun finally came out? It is, actually. Could be a lot worse. Yes, could be we bad. We drank beer. a lot worse. And we drank a lot that have terrible labels, but are still great beers. You shouldn't judge a beer by its can. Go fuck yourself. You should not preach to me. <clears throat> We're jurors. I shouldn't judge people by their cans? Mm-mm. Sometimes I like to. <laughs> <laughs> nice cans. That's my son. Yes. He's done well for himself. <laughs> Don't kill me. <laughs>